hey welcome back to my channel lena rules is back if you already didn't know i forgot to do an intro so here's my intro you're just gonna have to be surprised on the look i'm sorry but this is gonna be a vlog slash makeup tutorial look um so i hope you enjoy the video if you want to see the look just keep on watching and see you soon bye <laughs> Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Um, I'm pretty sure I already introduced y'all in, so we can go ahead and get started. Y'all know I'm finna use professional because so we can fill in those pores. Y'all, I have had a very, very crazy week. It was midterms week for school. And I'm not even gonna lie, I was struggling. I was struggling big time and I mean I know people was like oh it's midterms you can bring up your grade but I prefer having good grades the entire semester and I don't like just not having good grades like it really does bother me and I don't think I don't think people get that like, I am in school to be a respiratory therapist, and you have to, it's competitive to get into the program, so I need to make sure my GPA and everything is, like, fine so that I can, like, oh, be one of the top picks to get into the program, and next semester is when I have to start applying, and I don't want this semester to, like, bring down my grade, so, like, I'm pretty sure I did okay, but I need to do like excellent. So, you know, we're using the Milani Conceal and Perfect uh, foundation as always. So, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. But yeah, I mean, I mean, what do y'all think? How has y'all semesters been going on so far? Um, leave a comment below about how your semester has been. Now I'm just gonna conceal with my NYX Concealer HD Studio Photogenic in the shade Caramel. So, the reason I am getting dressed up is because um, I am supposed to be going to see Joker today. And so far, I heard that it was a good movie, but I prefer to be the judge of that. I actually love Joker as a villain. He is literally hilarious. I think he is so funny so weird and i love it i mean like they had to do something great with him like it's literally the joker so you know hopefully it goes well i'm using my fit me um maybelline pressed powder for my contour but i mean have any of you seen it yet and if you have let me know yeah we just need to have a conversation in the comments like literally I'm just contouring my nose so because I was getting ready today I just thought it would be the perfect time to film and yes I'm going with Zach I don't know if anybody else coming but I am going with Zach and um, hopefully we have a good time I wonder if y'all liked the video from last week. It was um pretty dope. But yeah. I don't know. When I come to my nose, it's weird. Cause like my nose kind of it's not big, but it's not little. So maybe I should start contouring with a bigger brush. That may be it. Like if I contour with a bigger brush, it might come out better. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend in 
my concealer. So in this video, I was originally supposed to try out the technique where people put do their eyeshadow first and then their foundation and stuff. But once I start, like I don't even be I don't really be thinking, so I ended up doing the face first. Which is fine. But I really do wanna try, you know, doing the other parts first. Okay, so I recently subscribed to BoxyCharm. I heard so much about it. This is not sponsored, I wish. But um, this box here, it's kind of crusty, but I subscribed to BoxyCharm and they had some really good products. So I'm gonna be using most of those in there today. So today I'm going to be um, using this Becca setting powder. It's a, it feels wet when you put it on, but it's a powder. Like, it's kind of weird, but, I mean, it's a good as the point. And it has this little thing, so you just kind of lift it up. And then there's the powder. I think I broke it. Oh, well. And it just, it's like regular powder. But, when I put it on my face, it feel like I'm literally putting water on my face, like... It's so freaky. Like, it's so weird. And this is a translucent powder. I'm pretty sure you already know. So I kind of just messed up. No, I didn't. I didn't mess up. But I got powder happy. And I put powder all over my face. Because I wanted it, the whole thing to be set. And it felt great. It felt magnificent. So. But, so now, I'm just going to. Spray my face with some Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Or should I do MAC Fix Plus? We gonna spray MAC Fix Plus first. That's what we gonna do. Want some, spray some MAC Fix Plus. Yeah, it look crusty, but it's okay. I've been using it. Oof, oof. And then we're just gonna push all the excess in. So now we need to do brows. Oh my gosh. For brows, I got the um, Benefit My Brow Pencil. Precisely My Brow Pencil here. And then I also got this billion dollar brows thing. I, I got this in the BoxyCharm. And it's like one of those. I don't know. Y'all probably can see it. Right? Can't see it. Can't. Can't. You probably can't. So far, I heard that this is good. So let's try it out. Just, just, just work with me. Brows, brows be having your girl stressed because when my brows look good, they look good. But when they don't look good, like my whole world is just like, like brows need to be good. Oh, don't mess them. So it's like a marker. We gonna fix them. We gonna we gonna fix them. We gonna fix them. Girl, when I say, doing my brows give me anxiety. Oh Lord, I just want them to be good. I'm gonna go clean them up, and then I'm, I'm gonna do the other brow, and I'll be right back. Okay. Upon a further review, I realized this is the best I'm going to get them for today. So. We're moving on. All right, so I'm just gonna do this Pro Conceal LA, LA Girl. And I'm just gonna prime my eyelids. We are going to get started. I do have two new eyeshadow palettes. I recently got the James Charles X Morphe palette. And in the boxy charm, I got the um, Violet's Voss Essentials palette. So let's see if we can 
play around with some of these colors today. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be using this palette today. Um, the look I'm going for, I am wearing red and blue. So, I wanna do red and blue eyeshadow. And I could use one of the Morphe palettes. Let's see. Wait, here's James Charles palette. It's pretty big. So it got it got enough colors. These colors are pretty bright though. I might end up using some darker shades in this palette. Yes, it's been used. Like it's been being used a little bit. Oh, I probably won't be talking that much <laughs> during this process because I gotta focus. And yeah, so I'm gonna just go in with a nice transition shade i'm just gonna go in with this it's pretty neutral here so let's just start with that on this brush that i don't know where i got it from but i had it forever so and i'm probably just gonna do like one eye on camera and then we're gonna go in with so we're doing red and blue i'm thinking doing like a nice red with a little bit brown and then just doing black black blue at the bottom i seen someone do it i don't know who did it seen it on instagram so if i do your look please understand that i just scrolled and saw it on instagram i didn't really read the names i really didn't pay attention which is you know my fault but i also did get some new brushes from moda moda brushes that also came in the boxy charm box so i have more brushes to choose from now which is pretty cool i think it's cool that they give out brushes in these um boxes because it really gives you know the viewers that really can't afford expensive brushes um something more to work with when they're doing more looks and so it's like more things i can play around with and it just really it's really helpful so I think I want to start. I'm just going to use this Hot Spot palette by Morphe. And I think I'm going to start with uh, this shade. It seems like a, a pretty shade to start off with, I guess. And then I think I'm going to move to this shade. Add a little brown from the James Charles palette. So I might add a little bit of this shade. And to smoke it out or buff it out, I might use a little bit of this shade. And y'all will see me using it. So I'm just going to take one of the motor brushes and we're just going to go in. I think I'm going to deepen it out with more of a blacker shade. That's what I think I'm going to do. to put right there we're gonna take this pro conceal and it's really pinkish i'm just gonna use that because i think that would be a better match i can see why people put their foundation i mean their um foundation and stuff on later to the fact that it's so much fallout like here that i'm going to have to go back and like pretty much redo like this whole part of my face so, um, T, I don't know, I'm gonna use this brush for right now. Typically don't use this brush for cut, cut crease, but I would like the move for today. I mean, I don't want it to be like pink. The gold isn't pink. The gold is red. I'm gonna set it really quickly. This shade here. Okay, first eye is done. Now I'm gonna do the second eye off camera. And I'll be back to do lashes, the under row, and lips.
Alright, be back. Alright, y'all. I'm sorry that I didn't finish filming the rest of it. Um, my ride came. So, this is the finished look. I just put blue up under the eyes. I didn't put on lashes, but here are my brows. And I put on the Maybelline highlight. I put on Ulta Beauty um, blush. And I use Noir Lips um, lip gloss, pigmented lip gloss in the shade Kimmit, I believe. And this is the finished look. Hello vlog. How you doing girl? We are doing stuff today. I don't know what we doing today, but we doing some. What we doing today, Zach? We breathing air. That quality air. Today we're going to the movies and we're going to have a picnic. Picnic? It's going to be great. Isn't it? We're going to see Joker. I think. Think it'll be fun. So, I'm pretty sure that my makeup look is going to be either in this video or the video before this one. So, hopefully y'all check that out. But I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Sure. Sure. We went to chicken salad chick, you guys. I just got this. Bye, phone one. Oh no. How are you enjoying the experience so far? I can't see you. It's okay, I'm black. Ooh, that glow, yes. Okay. Now we gotta take all the new pictures. Woo! We're having fun on our picnic. We just bought our movie tickets to Joker, so hopefully that go well. I'm probably most likely gonna post the pictures we took today on Insta, so make sure you're following me on that so you can get them pictures. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm silly, but oh yeah hold on Movie time, y'all. Hey, we have Waffle House. So, what were your thoughts on the movie? I mean, you know what I'm saying? It was straight. Um, I was a bit confused, but you know, it was good. I can't complain. Like, it was straight. You were confused? In a Joker movie? I was confused. Like, I don't know. I thought it was going to be more, but hey, man, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, so. You know what I'm saying? Well, I personally enjoyed the movie. It was good. It was weird at points, but it was good. It pointed out a lot of issues like mental illness and being kind to it's one another. The I didn't tell them what happened. It's still spoiling the movie. I said it pointed out different issues. Nah, but uh, if you if you tell them the theme of the, of the movie, then you know they're gonna be like, damn, I already know what's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure that by the time this video comes out, the movie will be in theaters for like two weeks already. Well, I guess. 
Anyway, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the movie. That'd be funny if they can't hear us. That would be tough. But okay, we're gonna eat. I think. All right, that was the end of the video. We ate. It was good. Now we're gonna go to sleep because we're tired. So. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if y'all want to see anything else in the comments below. Any comments, say it, I guess. Go watch this channel at aviator underscore Z. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe and turn on the bell for ring, ring. notifications every time I upload. And... Just remember, just like I rule, you rule too. So love you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.